Okay guys, I'm shooting tails, okay? For the LC Shad, I'm gonna shoot some purple tails. I've got black tails always shot. I'm not gonna show y'all everything, but I'm gonna show you one process of making tails. All right guys, we're gonna shoot these purple tails. I make the, uh, I make one LC Shad with purple tails. Uh, it's wild with a purple tail. Works really good, clear water, to light stained. Uh, what we're going to do today with these tails, we'll show you here shortly. We're going to make a couple colors, odd colors, okay? Uh, some colors maybe for stained water. Okay, let these cools and we'll get into it. Alright guys, let me show you the tails. Alright, bam. Yep. Those are going to show up pretty good, aren't they? Alright, and I shot a couple other colors. I shot black tails too. And I already have orange tails shot. Now this, let me show you. These are the two colors. This is the banana color, okay? The banana pepper color. And I make it with a pearl belly, like this, okay? It's just got a pearl belly. Guys, it's working great. Now Donnie made a comment a couple weeks ago that he liked to see it with a pink lady belly, and. This is the funny part. We was kind of on the same same wavelength, I reckon. I've been thinking about the banana color, too. I thought, man, it's really working well in stained water and clear water. It's selling great, guys. And I'm thinking, what else could we do with it? So when Donnie made that comment, I laughed. I laughed to myself. I, I, I commented back to him. I said, yeah, I've been thinking that also. What else could I put with it? All right? So that's what we're going to do today in this video. We're going to take, this first time, we're going to take banana, and this is Pink Lady, okay? Now, I have Pink Lady by itself in some of the baits, some of the small baits, and the Rocky color, okay? Rocky color is a blue, uh, this is not it, but it's a blue like this, okay? This is Slayer, but it has, has the Pink Lady belly. I don't have one hanging here. I have a lot of the colors hanging here, guys. I use them to compare with when I'm making the, when I'm making the baits, all right? Right here it is. This is the rocky color. This is the stem I kept. Now, that pink don't look that pink once it's mixed with that blue, does it? See, when you put two colors together, guys, it changes it. You know, you don't get the same. Now, this is the flamingo color. Now, it's the pink lady belly, too, okay? And it's flamingo, which is a darker pink on top. Now, that pink looks darker there, doesn't it? Okay? I'm trying to get it where y'all can see it good and not get too close so it gets too far out of focus. All right? So that goes to show you how much colors can change by putting them together. So we're going to shoot this with the pink lady the first round, okay? And then we might come back with a darker pink and shoot it. And I've got a couple colors laying behind me. I don't want y'all to see yet, see yet. And I'm not going to show y'all every, every transition, every time I melt them and shoot them. I'm not going to show y'all that because it's going to take too long. I will show you this first time I shoot with a dual injector, okay? Then after that, I'll probably just show you the baits when I open the molds, okay, the color combos I come up with. And y'all's got y'all have a job in this. Y'all gonna take part in this video. At the end of the video, I want you to comment what do you like. Now, look, it's unfair to me uh, in some ways, I'm gonna say this. I fish clear water. Y'all know that. That's why I, I cast a lot. Uh, I stay about 35 to 40 feet if I can in the area, 30 to 40 feet away from the fish, because it seemed like if you get closer to them than that, they get harder to catch, all right? And they've been tough to catch anyway lately. Now, I fished Friday. Today is Monday, okay? And I'm not working today, guys, because it, it rained this weekend and everything's wet outside. Tomorrow, I've got a boathouse I've got to work on and finish. And it's on the other end of the lake, and his boathouse, he said, it's five foot at the end, and I can see the bottom. That's right. <laughs> it gets clear as you go down the lake. Well, this end's pretty, cl pretty clear now. It's probably four foot visibility, four and a half. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was on Curry Lake Friday. And it was very clear, and I used small baits to catch them. Uh, I threw some bigger stuff. I threw a grub a couple times. They would chase it. That's it. Kiss it. <laughs> I threw a smaller bait, and they would they they hit it. So, some of these colors I'm going to make today, I know I can't catch fish here with them. I might catch one or two, but they're not going to be a bait that I'm going to use here much. I'm tell you, they're going to be more for people that's fishing stained water. Okay, and I hear a lot of y'all say, "Hey, our visit building never gets better than a foot." It never gets built it better than two foot. So we have that in the spring. Now, I'll, I'll, I'm going to 
say this. I'm going to backtrack. This spring, I probably can use some of the colors I'm going to make today. Because we get a lot of rain most time in March. And in March and April, y'all go back and look at some of my videos I made then. You'll see the water was pretty nasty. Some of y'all commented, man, Dennis, that water is nasty. Our nasty water is March and April. Okay? Then, I probably could use them. I can catch them on orange here then. Okay? All right. Let me get these cooked up and we'll go from there. All right, guys. We're going to have to shoot her fast. She's going to cool off fast. All right, we're shooting the banana on top. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to stop that microwave so y'all can hear me better. You're ready to open them? Let's open them. Again, I'm going to shoot a couple other colors. That's what I'm heating up in the microwave now. i got another color I'm heating up to shoot with the banana. We're going to shoot at least three colors with it today we'll go from there and i'll show you those as we open them i won't show you me shooting them all right bam all right let me pull it off there <laughs> uh yeah i gotta laugh when i see them guys i don't know what they look like to you but i see that pink didn't stand out a whole lot all right, I can see it's a little bit. See, the banana's bright, bright. So this has orange tails and chartreuse tails. All right. Now, this is the last one. Like I said, I'm not going to shoot. keep on shooting three because I'm just wasting a lot of plastic. This one is just pink. No tail colors. Just, just the pink and the... And the, and the uh, uh, banana color. Y'all ready? Now, I've got another color cooking in the microwave, guys. I got two microwaves running. <laughs> I got one by one behind me. If this finished, yeah, that's how I keep two colors going. All right, this one is banana and chartreuse. The belly chartreuse. The back's banana. Yeah, see, I don't know what the camera's doing it justice. All right, guys, y'all ready? I've got two microwaves running again, so y'all bear with me. All right, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm cutting off. Trying, to, I'm just trying to keep this show rolling. It's eating some, eating up some time now. I've been here two hours now. Bam. Banana and lime. That sounds like a uh, fruit basket. Actually, guys, I was wondering about those. I kind of like them. What do y'all think? Sorry, guys. <laughs> My battery died. And I just looked at it before I cut the camera back on. Like I said, I've been out here uh, over two hours, and the camera hadn't cut off. But I just leaned back here and looked at the battery, and it said I had battery. I said, okay, we're going to keep on going. And it cut off on me. Um, I want to show y'all this part I done cleaned it huh. right, hold on I got the gun behind me now you can see how bright that lime is that's the banana and that's the lime yeah pretty bright isn't it but when you put the two together and you see how bright that lime is it makes a difference doesn't it all right, y'all ready? I was looking at one of the original ones. That's my original copy. And my yellow looks about right. I made the yellow darker for the lime. I didn't mention that. I shot more yellow into it. Yeah, you can see the difference. Because I knew the lime was going to steal from it. I think it, that came out perfect. Let's see what these look like. So I had to make some more banana pepper color, so I made it back original. Okay. The pink, the uh, yellow turned orange. What do you think of that? See the pink on the bottom? <laughs> so without saying, you know, I said earlier, 
that sometimes some of the colors are raw from each other. That's what I'm talking about. Now, this yellow is not a solid color either. See, I, watch, see the yellow in it now? When I do this, sometimes see, see the yellow on this side? You're seeing the pink through the yellow. That's why it makes it look orange. That could be, actually that could be good, couldn't it? All right. Tell you what we could do. I'm going to shoot it one more time. I'm going to make the yellow darker. Okay, see this is the original yellow. Okay. Darker this time. All right, we'll see what it, let's see what it looks like. Guys, I got another color going. I was thinking about another color. <laughs> so I got one more going. This is how I get in trouble and get so many colors on the, on the website, okay? Still looks like... Oh, okay. All right, that's better. That's better. Still has an orangey tint to it. When you look through it like that, doesn't it? I like that too. Okay. All right. Let's see what. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any tail colors on this on the next one I'm doing. Bam. Look at that purple. Oh, that just says "Come and eat me," doesn't it? We think with the orange. I'll tell you what, guys, for stained water, that ought to be good. They ought to be able to see that belly, shouldn't they? Kind of looks realistic. You know, sunfish have a lot of pinks and reds on their belly. I don't know what it is, but it's banana color. They like it. I, I, again, I think it reminds them of the native minnows that are in the water. But uh, as I said in the beginning, I want to start doing this once in a while, maybe, maybe at least twice a month. Uh, I know they don't sound like much, but I'm already loading three videos a week. I load on Sundays, pour the catch, all right? On Wednesday night, I do a video of who won, load that on Thursdays. Wednesday is a fun video just fishing with something, and I throw extras in on Friday. So that's four videos a week, but I'm already doing three fishing videos a week, okay? Bam. Now you're talking about completely changing something. What happened to the banana that time? Wow. You know what? If this video has done nothing else, and I made the yellow darker. Y'all seen that, okay? I made it a lot darker for this bait. Because we shot it the first time, it wasn't dark enough. This is how dark it was. Yeah. Where'd it go? So what I'm talking about how when you, get to, when you put two colors together, sometimes one of them can steal for the other one. Let's see if you hold the yellow that way. Let me get where y'all can see. I get behind the camera so I make sure y'all can see. If you, hold, if you hold the yellow that way, you can see it. See, once you turn it, yep. This was blue. This bottom was blue. Okay, yeah, you can see it was blue right there. All right, guys, I'm going to try not to move too fast with my camera. All right. There's the dark pink. And orange. All right, this is this is the light pink and orange. Yeah, see the difference. <laughs> yep. All right. That was that was uh, light pink and orange. Okay. Start it right here with the chartreuse in yellow. All right. And this is the lime. We think I like the lime. So I don't know how this is coming out. Okay, lime. Like I say, there's chartreuse. Yep, there's the pink. Okay, there's the pink. All right. Now, here's the last couple we shot. Oops, I'm hitting the camera on the stand. Hope that's not making a noise. That's the uh, dark pink and yellow. Okay, with, with the... Yep. That's the second time I made the yellow darker, right? This is the time with the yellow... When it's dark. It's a cool and it's getting a little darker, isn't it? You can see the yellow's a lot darker on those. Okay, and this is the same yellow now that's on those. Yeah, when you go to this one, let me hold the pan up like this. Let me try something. That's the same dark yellow. So when you go to here, it don't look quite as dark, does it? That's supposed to be blue. That's supposed to be neon blue. <laughs> but it looks green, doesn't it? It took some of that yellow with it. All right. But you know what? It might. It looks like John Deere green. Y'all see the color that somebody was making? I, I don't know if they ain't making it anymore. 
but it used to be a color called John Deere green. Now it looks pretty close to that, and I ain't what I was trying to do. I'm just trying to make a blue belly. So, and you know what? I know somebody's watching going, well, Dennis, shoot it colder. I shot them at 335 in that area, okay? All this stuff with the tails, I shot at 350, 355. Now, I shot colder, I mean, excuse me, I shot them hotter today because, guys, it's 58 degrees today. Yep, it's 58 degrees, okay? My door is open here on my garage. I do have a little bit of heat, but I don't have it on. I do have a small heater. I got a heater and air conditioner in the shop, but, guys, for heat, you got to run it. You got to run it hard. Sometimes I use a, a uh, natural gas heater. You know, it has the tank with the heater on top of it. Y'all seen them. I know some of y'all have them on boats. I seen a guy crappy fishing this spring, had one on his boat. All right, guys, there you go. Y'all tell me, what colors do you like? Pick two that you like. And uh, you might see these one day on the site. I, I, I really like the lighter yellow, and I do the darker yellow in some ways. I can see this one making it, Trudy Fruity. And I can see Green Banana here making it on the site maybe one day. Let's see how they work for me. I'm going to send some out to a couple folks that I know fish a lot. Okay, and they're still fishing, and I'll be fishing during the winter because they live where it's a little warmer. All right, I fish year-round. Also, I'll be out uh, days Monday. I will be out Thursday. I've got to work the next two days, and I'll get out Thursday, and hey, I'll give give some of these a try. Appreciate y'all watching Fishing Lake Country. I'm Dennis from the shop here today. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Subscribe if you haven't. Okay. Like I said, we load, we load three videos every week, some weeks four. Depends on how good the fishing is and how good the weather is. We the, the weather determines a lot of it, guys. Appreciate everybody. Dennis, see you next time.